So we're coming up on the 1st of February and I've decided that I'm going to do A Course in Miracles again. And to give you some background, um, I did a few videos on this last or last year, last couple of years. Um, it's a 365 day program um, or 365 lessons that are accompanied by a text. Um, and it's supposed to change your thinking, bring you closer to God, help you uh, forgive others, forgive yourself, advance mentally, spiritually. And, and I went through this whole process, uh, 365 days, and I wanted to get it done at the age of 33. It was my Jesus year, you know. And this book claims to be the voice of, of Jesus. And uh, so I got through every lesson, and there were ups and downs in that whole year. And I feel like I was a very different person back then. So in this gap year between taking the course the first time and what I plan to be taking the course the second time, a lot has happened, you know. I've finally set roots down here. I've finally decided that yes, uh, no matter what, including um, whatever incidents, whatever problems I've had here, I've decided that I'm going to set roots here in Vietnam. And, uh, and also in this year, a lot of my habits have changed. I've really started to take care of my diet. I have uh, taken up running. I'm praying, meditating more. And so I feel like when I started the course, when it was, uh, you know, this was in 2017 when I started the course, I was really at a low point. You know, I had dislocated my shoulder from a bad uh, motorbike incident and I had lost my job and I, you know, I was single back then and I just didn't have much going on, much to help me out of it. But so I'd go through the process. Every morning I kept a chalkboard behind my bed and I would uh, erase the number and write each number um, every day for 365 days. I would write down the lesson and I would read the lesson and I would do it the best that I could. However, uh, back then at that point, I didn't have much of a meditation routine going on, which really took um, getting back into Christian science and um, doing the daily watches, reading the Bible three times it was last year. And so I feel like the soil is ready. <laughs> I'm going to approach the course differently this time and hopefully give myself a better grade. I'd say after one year, I'd give myself uh, my first time through maybe a, a C, C plus in the sense that I faithfully did every lesson every day, but not as well as you could. There are degrees to it. I mean, it's supposed to make some changes in your life. And really, I guess the first time was just planting the seeds, but now, a year later, as I'm coming up to February 1st, which I guess has turned into my new year now, which is uh, more aligned with the Chinese calendar, appropriately, than it is with the Western calendar, I feel like things are going to be a little bit different now. I feel like there's more of, uh, there's less fear involved. Uh, the whole point of the course is to overcome fear through love and to uh, base this love on the example that Jesus set in healing the sick and in resurrection, in uh, surviving death. And so I feel like a lot is going to go well this time and I am going to, rather than going through the tedious uh, writing in chalk on my board and, and reading only electronic versions, I've got a printout of the Hugh Lynn Casey edition of the course which uh, is only a few years old. It was discovered at the Association for Research and Enlightenment, a library in Virginia Beach that I know quite well that's talked with all sorts of new age stuff. And that's one thing I wanted to point out. Okay, now, uh, the part of the reluctance with the course is there is a lot of um, new age astrology, uh, you know, fortune telling stuff that gets associated with it. Many um, universalist liberal values, which seem to run contrary to mine. And one of the greatest uh, writers, uh, well, I don't think so, but certainly in terms of being best selling and appearing on Oprah and having all these podcasts and everything, is Marianne Williamson. And I looked her up recently. I resubscribed to a bunch of the course channels that I had dropped over the year. And uh, it turns out she's running for office as a Democrat, no less. And so a lot of the political 
uh, reasoning, a lot of the political stances of people in this camp do not quite uh, match up with mine. It's not like going to see Franklin Graham or something, but this is just a whole whole different unrelated thing, render under Caesar, render to Caesar the things that are his, and uh, and I'm going to keep reading the Bible, I'm going to keep other spiritual readings as well, but it's good to have one meditation that changes each day that I can go back to. And so I invite you guys to try it with me, uh, if, if you've ever thought of doing the course, um, you know, it's... It's amazing how much you can get done just by showing up, just by reading it, just by reading it every day. Having some new message, some positive thing that uh, helps hold your world in the light, that helps you out of just the day-to-day -day misery, that helps you find um, some way to default on love and on happiness, rather than on fear and uh, sadness and turmoil. It's all about resolving conflicts. It's all about um, being a better person, being more forgiving, finding happiness in just simple things, just being able to just let everything go and sit in a quiet place and just smile and just see heaven and that of God in everyone. 365 days. <laughs> uh, so I'm still working out the details. I still need to print out the lessons themselves. I'm going to do that down the street, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do to accompany that. I don't know if I can uh, make a video every day to read the lessons, but I might be able to. Maybe, is there a need for that? Would people watch that? Would that bring subscribers to this channel? People even know what I'm talking about. This is kind of uh, esoteric stuff. I mean, the text reads very much like a psychiatric manual, which is appropriate because it was revealed to a psychiatrist. but. It also has a lot of spiritual language, it's incomprehensible at times, but there are times when reading it, you just lock in and fly away to heaven. It's amazing like uh, how often I've been able to pick up this book or return to this course and find answers that I've needed or to find comfort in uh, troubling situations or release from temptation, etc., etc., etc. I have a lot to say about the Course, just like I have a lot to say about the Bible. And so expect some videos regarding um, A Course in Miracles in the future as I prepare to begin one more time, another year. We'll see February 1st to February 1st um, how much I change and uh, I, just, I just feel great thinking about the Year of the Pig and uh, how much I'm going to accomplish and how much I'm going to share with you and uh, let's get into these mysteries together. So I encourage you, anyone who is interested in the course, to uh, pick it up, take a look at it, and follow me as I examine the lessons and the text and eventually the manual for teachers and try to do some miracle work in my life this year.